battery uh, on the front. That's rather sweet, to be honest. Are we, we going to have a chat with him? How's your German? Oh, well, oh, possibly not as good as yours. That's as good, John. <laughs> He's just been showing what the Derny can do. Uh, to be honest, I've never seen the Derny go quite so fast without having a few laps of build-up. But anyway, so Peter Berlain is <clears throat> with his um, hybrid Derny. I guess you call that a hernia. <laughs> I'm a bit old school when it comes to Dernies. There's a Derny, an Ernie is an electric Derny. And a hybrid, surely, has got to be a hernia. Oh, no. Not. Um, here are the grumpy crew because this is about running off for position only, seventh through to twelfth. Uh, riders who would have hoped to have been in the final, bidding for a world championship title. I know the field here. We've got defending champion Matthias Bukli not racing for the gold. We've got Jeffrey Hoogland, who we know is in incredible form, but I have to say it almost looked like the Dutch got their tactics a bit wrong in the previous round. We've got the Olympic champion Jason Kenny also in the, also in this race, so cruelly just missed out on the previous ride, unfortunately. We've also got Nita from Japan, Vigier and Halal of France. So, like you say, six six incredibly strong names that you really would expect to be. A final situation. Could have been the final. Could have been. But they are running for seventh at best. Mm. Well, you've got to clear your mind and think of it as a final in itself because um, yeah. it all counts, doesn't it? Uh, in terms of uh, points gained, Olympic qualification, all that. You'll be seeing all of these riders. Here's Peter Belain looking. He's gone for a stance. He's gone for a pose. He knows the camera's there. He's looking good. Getting frowns from Joe now. Meanwhile, um, I know this disappointment, but you have to clear your mind and get on with it, don't you? You do. So we talked a bit about Olympic qualification points, but also the, the, ch the chance to race another gear in, uh, you know, among completely world-class competition, the Olympic champion, the, the outgoing world champion. Um, so it's still a race in itself. It's still a little bit of bragging rights and chance to try tactics as well, I guess. Peter Blein about to <clears throat> um, fire up the silent um, hybrid Derny. Matty Buckley determined to have his peppermint laser lid on display. Uh, just to differentiate himself from this man, Jeffrey Hewland. They don't want bragging rights amongst themselves, I guess, but um, <clears throat> slightly diminished here because it's only for finishing positions 7th through to 12th. Um, amazing some of the technical um, shenanigans that went out, went on out there. Matty Buckley was locked in, wasn't he? Nowhere yeah. to go. Lots of sh shoulders involved and he, he lost that battle. Yes, yeah, so yeah, he looked like he was very much boxed in in uh, his semi-final to get here so it didn't quite it looked like he had the gas but he couldn't quite get out and similarly jason kenny looked quite boxing in, in his round as well and he very nearly got round but just missed out and hoogland as well like i mentioned another one of the dutch riders who you, you'd expect to probably be in that final but but again missing out too far back um when they're all taken by surprise in that round so yes hu huge names here promises to be a really good race whether it's for a gold medal or not well, let's hope so, and uh, let's hope that they don't just uh, seed it out of grumpiness. Peter Belain comes through. As you quite rightly point out, Joe, you, it, it's about measuring yourself about against great names, and this is your last chance, really, before the Olympics to do that. It is, so there's not many opp opportunities to race now before the Olympics, if, if any, definitely not um, at a sort of championship event. So, yeah, la last real chance for a, for a Kirin bike race. Huland at the back at the moment. For the Netherlands, that's uh, Matty Buckley with the minty helmet. Uh, just in front of them, the red of Yudai Nita of uh, Japan, who has seen uh, his teammate and uh, close friend uh, Wakimoto through to run off for a gold medal and, of course, a world championship title. We have Jason Kenny embedded here, and we know his Olympic credentials. And two from France with Sebastien Vichier um, and indeed Ryan Halal just uh, on the back of the hybrid journey of Peter Belay. 
So, take your pick, really. It's hard to judge because you wonder about motivation. Um, they, they need to sort of clear their mind and, and think of it as yet more prep for, indeed, the Olympics, which is to come. It looks like Maddie Buckley is... Uh, I'm wondering if there's going to be any leading out going on here. But at the moment, France setting the pace, but here come the Netherlands, and Buckley comes through. And indeed, it's Huland on his wheel at the moment, and I think Buckley may well be doing a slingshot. Jason Kenny looks over his shoulder and sees that it's Buckley right there. Big pickup right now as uh, Kenny goes up and uh, over the top of uh, Halal, it is for France. Um, Vigier with the black helmet of that pairing. Here's Nita, oh, we've got a man down. It's Buckley that hits the deck hard. Not what he wants in this position as well. Hulan comes up over the top of Nita. at uh, Kenny as well, just uh, battling on the inside. Kenny holding it to the line, does he? No. There it is, uh, punching the air goes Hulan, Kenny and Nita. Halal, uh, Vigier wrapping that up, but I'm afraid not a pleasant evening for Matty Buckley who hits the deck. It had a uh, it had a real feel of um, that seventh place battle, didn't it? About it, no, not over commitment from anyone. It seemed even those who were uh, uh, running for the line in the end. And I just hope that Manny Buckley's okay. Yeah, absolutely. I think he probably came into this race with a point to prove, having just missed out in the semi-finals to book himself a place in the final and obviously defend his title and his teammate there winning this round for seventh place but it would be you know obviously really hoping um matthias bookley is okay though he is sat up which is good to see he is well a little bit of uh, track rash that will be sore for a couple of days to get used to that as a tracky don't you yeah, so um, you can get some splinters as well, uh, so that can be quite painful. But, yeah, I don't know how much more racing he's got this week. I don't know whether he'll be racing in the sprint or the Kirin, but that could, that could be him finished. Let's have a look at it. This is... Uh, he's going to see the crash right now. Shoulder with Nita. Well, he, he, he didn't want to get boxed in again. There it is. Well... I don't think there's o we're owed any relegation there, but you can see how quickly the uh, the skin suit is stripped from the body once it hits the uh, the friction of the track. Disappears very very quickly, doesn't it? This is your uh, your finale. I don't think Nita was overly to blame though. If anything, I think it was uh, Buckley that was hanging the elbow over his to prevent him coming through. Yeah, it's, it's a difficult one. They were very very tight together there. Um, Jason Kenny had led it out, getting himself in a good position, but yeah, camera's focusing on Nita at the moment because it was it was the clash between the two of them, but unfortunately these things do happen. You, you never, ever like to see them, though. No. Well, that's a good sight. Uh, Matty Buckley back on his bike, and indeed, with the wherewithal to wait for the crowd, just going to ride out uh, uh, the stiffness, want to get back on it and almost warm down, didn't he? Yep, yeah, so really nice to have the applause from the crowd there to see him back up and back on his bike. Nice to know that he's not too injured because in a, in a Kieran especially, these crashes can, can be really bad. So it's great to see him. He's back on the bike now. He'll just come over the line and have a bit of cheer from the crowd, which is really nice to see. Yeah, he's, um, he's thrown a whitey, as it were. He's, uh, he's gone very pale of pallor after uh, the shock of that, but he's picked himself up. He dusted himself down and... Of course, start all over again when we get to the Olympics. Kieran, the finals. Uh, the run for 7th to 12th looks like this. 